Now to spring break, and if you don't have any plans yet, Cor Harlan has an idea. How about indoor skydiving? Cor, good morning. Morning, Ken. We've been out here at iFly across from Washington Square Mall, where we've talked a lot about some spring break activities, youth camps that they have, summer camps, even an adult flying league here. I want to save this segment here to show you the real pros. Go at it, fellas, because all four of these guys are doing uh, doing sort of this tandem thing here, and this is just crazy. That is crazy. Dakota Herald is one of the principals again here at iFly this morning, and there is, you know, I, I just in there about a half an hour ago. It, it looks easy when you're on this side of the glass, but there is a lot of body contortion and a lot of technique that these guys use. Oh, definitely. These are some of the best uh, athletes in the world. And uh, um, I say that humbly. This is Team USA. They will be competing um, in the World Championship uh, Indoor Skydiving um, <clears throat> Challenge here in France next month, April 17th through the 20th. There are three Pete national champions, Team Piranavayu, They've uh, got thousands of hours in the wind tunnel, and this is some of the best flying you'll ever see. They will be training the next two Mondays and Tuesdays, so come on down, meet the team, uh, get a little information about the sport and the competition. We look forward to seeing you. This is an international sport, too. They do this all over the world competitively, right? Huge international sport. It's actually bigger in Europe. Uh, the North American sport is really starting to catch up to speed, but um, Team Piranha IU, the best in the USA, hopefully the best in the world come uh, mid-April. Wow, that is really cool. Good job, you guys. Good job. There it is, Team USA here from iFly this morning uh, in uh, in Beaverton, where they've just been cruising. Go ahead back. Go ahead back in there, yeah. It's about 132 miles an hour worth of wind underneath these guys, and... Man, I'll tell you, it's hard to stay stable in there, even if you do have a lot of ballast like I do. But these guys, they fly through the air, and it looks like magic, Ken. A great, a great activity. Of course, you don't have to do it at this level for spring break. You can just come in here and flop around like I did this morning. A great time for summer, a great time for spring break. And again, if you're an adult, they do have some adult and youth classes as well here where you can learn a lot. Look at that. Learn a lot of the techniques that these guys are up against. Ken? Yeah, that is just spectacular. And uh, best of luck to them in France for the international competition. That'll be great. Thanks, Court. They're all right.